Oh my word, I can't leave Counter-Strike alone for one day and this happens. I was planning on creating an entirely different video today, something in the lines of 5 things I wish I knew when I first started playing Counter-Strike, but lo and behold, there's a 5 gigabyte update and I'm like, wait, what? We're gonna go through this update together and you're gonna see my honest reaction to most of it because I haven't seen anything. Let's just jump into the update. I, I'm so excited. New operation stuff? What? Okay, so for the release notes of the 2nd of October 2024. This, this is gonna get rough. For the armory, the armory is now available in the store. I don't know what the armory is, but okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll probably get to that. It features three new weapon collections, two charm collections, two sticker collections, the gallery case, and the heat-treated desert eagle. What? Charms are a thing now. I mean, this is slowly becoming Call of Duty, isn't it? I, I don't know. <laughs> Purchase and activate an armory pass to start earning armory credits. So the armory is like a battle pass? Thing? Like, is this a battle pass or just an operation? I guess it should be, right? Make progress towards credits wherever you earn XP with an active armory pass and then redeem credits for items in the armory. So this is basically the same as any other battle pass, I guess. Like, I, I'm giving my best guess here, right? We'll see if what actually happens when this happens. Okay. Charms. Introducing charms. Dynamic items you can apply to your favorite weapons, currently available exclusively in the armory. Drag and drop charms to precisely place them on a weapon of your choice. A weapon can have one charm attached at a time. And then use a charm detachment to detach the charm from a weapon. The charm will return to your inventory and can be reused. So you can like, just take it off a weapon and put it on a new one as you want to, kind of like the, the Statrax swap tool, right? Awesome! Redeeming a charm from the armory grants three complementary charm detachments. Additional charm detachments are available for purchase. Wow, okay, so charms are actually a thing. Like, Game Follower has been hinting at this for like, I want to say the better part of a year now. Or like the, okay, well, I wouldn't say a year now, but like five, six months now. It's kind of crazy. Okay, inventory and items. All items acquired from the in-game store, including the armory, trade offers, and Steam community markets are now subject to a seven-day retrade and remarket restriction. So if you buy something from the market or like trade something or get something from the store, you have to wait seven days before you can actually resell or even trade that. So it's not only a trade lock, it's now also a marketplace lock. A lot of people are going to be angry about this, especially like traders and stuff like that but it's much more safe when it comes to like people scamming you like you know uh, people hackers taking over your account or like stuff like that so i i'm i'm pretty sure that this is going to be absolutely amazing for the normal player all stickers patches and charms available on steam community market in the armory or on friends steam inventory web pages can now be previewed on your own inventory items with what? Remove the ability to delete weapon cases from your inventory. Why would you want to delete a weapon case from your inventory? That doesn't make sense, right? Moving on. Added precise sticker wear level selector when scraping existing stickers on inventory weapons. Any applied stickers can only increase their sticker scrape level. So you, you can like... What is this? You can like dynamically choose how much you want to scrape it at one time. I think it's gonna like make it a little bit more streamlined and dynamic, but I... I, I guess we'll see, right? Oh my word. This is, this is incredible, dude. This is actually incredible. Out of the way to immediately remove existing stickers from inventory weapons in addition to sticker scraping. That is a much needed uh, update to the game. I've been wanting this since Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It is so irritating when you have five stickers on a weapon. You really want to get them off, but now you have to scrape each one of them like five, six times just to get them off the gun. This is going to be absolutely awesome. I love it. <laughs> this update is just, it's exciting me so much, dude. Added name tag module preview on the actual items when applying name tags. Fixed several cases where applying name tags or stickers would unequip the weapon from your loadout. Customizing a base weapon that's currently equipped will now auto-equip the newly customized version. Animation. Improved character posing on a large slope. Made feet pin and unpin differently for all use cases to help remove aggressively leaned characters, aka the Michael Jackson lean. Oh, thank goodness that is fixed. Pin and unpin I... IK logic now not affected by poor server ping times. Am I stupid? What is what does that mean? I don't 
I don't really know what that means. <laughs> Reauthor the run, walk, and crouch content to fix wide scissor leg <laughs> posing when traversing. Changed ladder animations and behavior so characters' heads are much more representative of where the player camera is, including characters now display crouch correctly when on ladders. Removed popping when crouching or uncrouching while jumped to reduce leaning on jump animations and then fixed characters pose popping when falling off a ledge. Uh, fixed for many cases where characters posing would subtly pop when traversing with slow moving weapons. Moving on to the gameplay, flashbangs and HE grenades no longer prematurely detonate when they exceed their stuck bounce limit. In the graphic settings they added a display selection drop down for non-windowed full screen mode to the windowed screen settings and they fixed graphics artifacts for fire effect in the advanced video tab. Nothing that's gonna change the actual performance of the game really, it just some like nuisance type, you know, changes. Audio, fixed the bug where UI sounds wouldn't position correctly when in game, fixed an issue where step sounds would play for the local player but fail to broadcast to other players and vice versa. Fixed an issue where ragdoll water splash sounds were erroneously played on live players and then fixed a case where voice chat didn't work on community servers which I wouldn't know because I don't really play community servers. Fixed a case where incoming voice chats would sometimes never close. Added telemetry option to display graphs of network jitter and misdelivery. Changed how packet misdelivery is measured. Previously if packets arrived out of order this could be counted as misdelivery even if it was corrected and did not impact gameplay. Also jitter was not considered even though excessive jitter can disrupt smooth gameplay. The new measurements method will only count reordered packets as misdelivered if they impact gameplay. Furthermore, network jitter exceeds a threshold where gameplay is affected the packets are counted as misdelivered uh, even if they are not dropped and arrive in order. So for those of you guys who don't know, packet loss is basically when there's an interruption in the data that you send from your side to the server and back some of the packets that are being sent are lost. So when you shoot a bullet, say, let's say you have 25% packet loss, which is really excessive. I usually count it as there's a 25% chance that every bullet that you shoot will not be registered. So if you shoot four bullets, there's a high likelihood that one of the four are probably not even going to like hit at all. Like it's not going to register on the other side. That was horrible. Now Jitter is just a little bit different. That has more to do with like teleporting back and forth or just you know, the tra traditional lag that you would think of, right? That's usually caused by Jetter itself. Okay, we're actually inside of the game. Today's update introduces the armory, all new weapons, charms, and a whole lot more. Click the image below for more details, and just, it's gonna take you to the actual, you know, uh, update we just went through right this is the armory pass get access to three new weapons collections charms the gallery case and more now if you click on it it opens up the actual well pass well this is literally just an operation without missions i guess that's kind of cool okay so if you get a pass how much does this cost 277 rand bro that is rough i really want to get this pass. i'm probably going to get this pass now let's see what actually is in this pass. Now, limited edition item. 103 days remaining to claim this offer. So this is going to be a limited edition deagle and holy crap does this look good. The heat treated almost looks like a, like a case hardened, right? Oh my word, that looks cool. Wow. Limited edition items. Bro. I, I was wondering when that's going to happen. Then with the charms, we have just a bunch of different charms that we can actually check out how this would look. Preview charm, let's see. Let's preview this charm on my AK-47, for example, right? We have a bunch of presets, so it's the same as when you had the stickers in the beginning before you could actually change it up a bunch. Now, this looks amazing, bro. Like, you can see where, like, Oh, that is so cool! Let's get back into the actual pass. And then we have a bunch of more charms, that is so there's more of them. Look at the up. The titanium. The titanium. <laughs> titanium up, dude. What the hell? Preview charm. We have to preview it on the actual up. Bro, that is so cool. And then we have a bunch of new skins. Look at this. Up crocodile, dude. Oh my word. Wait, wait, wait. I want to go through all of them. We need to go through all of them. The midnight paint over looks normal. The wash me. 
It's gonna be a pretty cheap skin. The Neon Squeezer. This actually looks kind of cool. It's just a shame it's on the MP5. Then we have the M4A1S Wash Me Please. Again, this one looks much better than the previous one. The Deagle Tilted. It should be pretty uh, cheap as well. The Wallbang Negev. That actually looks dope as shit. We have the Metallic Squeezer. Oh, look at that, bro. Pep Squeak. The worst holder. I don't, I can't, I, I can't pronounce that, okay? Just leave me alone. And then we have the Teal Graph. The Sweet Little Angels. The Monster Melt, bro. Look at this. It almost looks like the Appa, but for like an XM, right? The, the Eye of Zappens. All in the Overpass 2024 collection, though. So just keep that in mind. Also looks pretty cool. We have the Krakaldrai, obviously. And it drew my attention pretty quickly. And we have the Dragon Snore. New Zeus skin. I was wondering when the new one's gonna be releasing. Be the Monster. I think this is my new favorite AK. I really... Really, really want this AK. That is just the Overpass skins, the Overpass 2024 collection skins. Then we have, what is this? Is this a new graphic design skin collection? What? That's crazy, bro. Okay, that's pretty cool. Like, we have a graphic design skin collection? I love it! Ah! I love it! Coral half tone, wild berry, berry gel coat. Oh, the cross. Oh, the cross fade. Bro. This looks dope. The half tone shift, the slalom, slalom, slalom. I, I can't pronounce that. The vector. Oh, the vector. This looks great. The poly soup. Ooh, star K. Oh, my word. Look at the glitter. I'm so excited! Then we have the little pig. And then the CMYK. Damn! All of these look so freaking cool. You know, as a graphic designer myself, I really appreciate a lot of that. Then we have, what's this? The sport, the sport and field collection. Okay, this is gonna be like grassy type vibes. I don't know. <laughs> This looks, it looks so cool already. Look at the leather, dude. Oh my word. I know a bunch of people is going to enjoy this skin. Oh, the olive polycam, bro. Okay, this might actually be one of my new favorite AKs. That looks insane, dude. The PP Bison Cold Cell. Oh, the wild wood. That, I think this is going to wear pretty fast. We got the Xeno. Ooh, dang, I like that. I like that so much. Small game. The Yorkshire, oh. Poor! Alpine camo. We got the heat treated again. It's, it's very close to the uh, case hardened. And it's just like, it looks a little bit more worn almost, right? Then we got the Arctic Tritone. Oh, wow, that looks good. The Crimson Foil. The Rainbow Spoon. Oh my gosh, I love so many of these skins. I really love so many of them. I want to I wanna have all of them. Oh. The Glock Axia, bro. Damn. The M4A1S Fade. Ish. That's... This is all very, very cool. And then we have the Gallery Case. Okay, so this is also a very new case. With, like, all new skins. Like, how many skins did they add in the game now? Let's inspect all of them, obviously. The USPS 027. This looks insane. I love the skin. It's so plain, but it looks so good. The Desert Eagle Calligraffiti. I love it. I love all of it so damn much. We have the MP5 SD statistics. I, I still, I love it. I absolutely love it. The looks trim. Oof. Why does all these skins look so damn good? Like, you can, you can feel the softness on the side of the, like, sponge, bro. What the actual... A hypnosis. This is the only skin that looks bad to me. Like, this is... This looks stupid, dude. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they knew what they were doing here. Like, they were like, yeah, nobody's gonna play with this gun anyway. So let's just, like, throw a skin in there and see what happens. The R8 Revolver Tango. Whoa, whoa. Loader. Okay. 
I like that. We can just go on like this. The Scar 20 Trailblazer. We got the M4A4 Turbine. Oh, look at that. It looks like something out of Doom, bro. What the f The Dual Beretta's Hydro Strike. Damn, it looks stupid, but it's so cool. The Saiba Oni. Oh my word, I know a bunch of people is gonna absolutely love, love this skin. I'm looking at you, Lego. The P90 Randy Rush. <laughs> Looks funny. The Rapid Transit SSG08. This, it's kind of underwhelming, but I think there's gonna be a lot of detail, like, in the actual skin itself. Then we got the AK-47, the Outsiders. Whoa, this is busy. Th that is really busy. Then we have the P250 Epicenter. Woo! Okay, I gotta say, I enjoy a lot of these new skins. We got a new, new Nord, the UMP-45. New Nord, but this one looks cool. I like the blade. Like, the blade is on fire, right? That's, that's absolutely awesome. We got the gold tooth. Okay, okay, that is, that is amazing. Like, can you see the actual gold tooth? That is pretty cool, right? Oh my gosh. And then the M4A1S Vaporware. Ooh, that looks so cool. Wow, and then obviously we have a cookery knife with that as well. Moving on to the stickers, you can see there's just a bunch of them. I'm not gonna go through like I'm not gonna go through all of them, but some of these do look pretty cool, like like the bolt energy. Oh that looks so dope. That looks so dope. How about the winding scorch? Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be sick. The ruby wave. Bro, you can... Oh, it's a lenticular one. You can see it move, bro. Oh, that is so cool! And then just a bunch of more stickers. Got a few hollows. Looks absolutely amazing. We got... Uh, what's this lenticular one? The eyes move, bro! <laughs> the eyes move! Oh, there's another eye. Oh, that is, that is just so cool. That is... That is absolutely awesome, bro. Now, one thing I wanna, like check out is well a few things actually one is on the video tab itself you can now choose which monitor your screen should display on so that's that's kind of cool like i i was looking for that one time i accidentally unplugged my screen and the game went to like another one like my secondary screen which that kind of sucked but now you can actually just move it around as you need to on the normal graphic side of things i don't see anything crazy like added to the game like let's see it nope Fidelity, the high dynamic range, nothing really stands out to me. But what I want to do is quickly check it out on competitive, they added Italy, yeah. And on premier, what did they do to premier? Nothing. Yeah, they didn't change anything in premier mode. That's okay, we can work with that. Now I want to go into a like random casual quickly and see if they made any changes to the actual camera movement. Or like the camera itself from where you, you view, your view model is. Nothing feels different. It doesn't look different. There's some jittering and stuff that I don't really like that much. So this is basically the update. I'm gonna get the Armory Pass as soon as I can and then I'm gonna stream obviously. I don't know, are you guys as excited as I am about this? Because I mean, this is actually huge. I mean, like charms in Counter-Strike, limited edition items in Counter-Strike, a new technically operation in Counter-Strike. New cases, stickers, skins, so many new skins. Like this is gonna blow up everything. Uh, you can see they're kind of like on the way to finishing deadlock. This is, is kind of crazy. In any case, what do you guys think? Are you going to get the Armory Pass or um, do you think you're going to give this a pass? Let me know in the comment section down below. And with that being said, I'll see you on the live streams every Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 p.m. S-A-S-T. I also stream sometimes like during the week, but that's like unplanned random streams. Those two days though, I'll meet you there. Peace. I really need to get the Armory Pass. What can I sell? My kidney, maybe.